this code sample includes the definition for a simple activity. Here we can find within the main.xml file that defines the user interface layout of this activity one button. When executing this activity we get this one button. Here, within main.xml, we specify that when the button is clicked, we want this method to be invoked. If we check the definition for this method on pop-up BT click, we can find that each time the user press that button, an object is instantiated from the pop-up menu class. An object instantiated from this class represents a menu that is displayed on screen within the scope of a pop-up window. In short, a pop-up menu. Here we specify the context as with any other uh, GUI component as well as the reference for the object the pop-up menu refers. In this case, the object is the button. The object that represents this button is the object that its reference is passed over to this method. So we can use that reference when instantiating pop-up menu. Then this line refers an XML document that defines the menu. This is the XML document that defines the structure of the menu we want to get. In this case we have four items. If uh, required we can create sub-menus as well. The outcome of this line is actually a ready to use menu on which we can uh, invoke show so it will be displayed on screen. But before show is invoked there is another method invoked on the object that represents the pop-up menu. The set on menu item click listener that connects with the pop-up menu object, an object instantiated from an anonymous inner class that implements pop-up menu on menu item click listener in order to provide some sort of implementation code that will be executed each time an item from the pop-up menu is pressed. In this case, we just get a small toast message. Let's give it a try. Again, let's select save this item. And as you can see, the toast message is accordingly.